Hello friends and welcome to operations management videos at edupediaworld.com Your virtual world of free education. The problem of how many facilities to have and where they should be located is encountered by both the service and the manufacturing industries in both the private as well as the public sectors. Whether it be banks, restaurants, recreation agencies or the manufacturing companies all are concerned with selecting a site that will best enable them to meet their long-term goals. Well friends, this emphasizes about the importance of facility location and today we shall be beginning a new series of lectures on the importance of facility location. To begin with, in the introduction, today we will see the basics that is the definition and introduction of facility location will explain the various location decisions and its importance thereafter we will see what is the need for selecting a suitable location then we'll describe the various factors affecting the location decisions and finally we'll take up the methods of evaluating location alternatives we shall see the details of these methods in our subsequent videos today we'll just have an introduction of the topic all right so let's move on now what is facility location facility location is the process of determining the geographic sites for a firm's operation it's about selecting a suitable location or site where the firm or the organization will establish its new plant or the new facility okay in other words it can be said that it is the process of identifying the best geographic location for a service or production facility with the objective of maximizing the benefit of that location to the firm yeah so the basic objective of establishing or finding a suitable location is to get the greatest advantage possible from that location Now what kind of a decision it is? Plant location or the facilities location problem is an important strategic level decision for an organization. Now one of the key features of a conversion process that is the manufacturing system is the efficiency with which the products or services are transferred to the customers. This fact will include the determination of way to place the plant or facility. A facility should be placed as close as possible to the site of the customers. The reason it will be easy for us to transfer the good or the services to the customer. The cost of transporting which actually does not add value to the product can be cut down if the location is established strategically. All right. So it's a strategic decision that is it's a lo long term decision which is difficult to reverse. Right. Once you have established a location it stays there for a long time and it's not possible to dismantle them immediately and shift to a new location. So a great care is needed before uh, one takes the decision of establishing a plant anywhere. The selection of location is a key decision as large investment is made in building plants and machineries. It is not advisable or not even possible to change the location very often. So an improper location of plant may lead to waste of all the investments made whether in building, machineries, equipments or whatsoever. Okay, Before a location for a plant is selected long-range forecast should be made anticipating future needs of the company the plant location should then be based on the company's expansion plan and policy diversification plan for the products changing market conditions the changing source of raw materials and many other factors that influence the choice of the location decision we will see the factors in detail very shortly Remember the basic purpose of the location study is to find an optimum location, the one that will result 
in the greatest advantage to the organization. We have emphasized this previously and always bear this in mind. Before taking any decision, the firm needs to understand this point and take their decision based on this. All right. So let me just repeat. It's a strategic decision because it's a long term decision and it's, it's not possible to dismantle once you have established a plant in a certain location. That is, it is difficult to reverse. It requires large investment in building equipments, the machineries and so on. It affects both your fixed and variable cost. And in fact, it affects the process throughout the organization. Location decision is not only about the cost or something which affects the top management. In fact, it affects the process throughout the organization. For example, the marketing department assess how the location will appeal to customers, possibly by opening new markets. The HR must be attuned to the firm's hiring and training needs. They will have to look into where they'll get good skilled labors and cheap labors. The accounting and finance, of course, must evaluate the costing. The operation needs to be able to meet the current customer's demand and provide the right amount of customer contact. So we see that all the departments are in some way or the other affected by the choice of the facility location. All right, so moving ahead further, the facility location could help the company against its competitors. It can give the company a competitive advantage. How? We see that the need to produce close to the customer due to time-based competition, trade agreements and shipping costs, etc. can be overcome if we locate our facility near to the customer. We can cut down on the uh, cost, the transportation cost. It will further help the company reach the customer in shorter duration of time and so that will lead to an advantage on their behalf. Same is the case with the pool of labors. The company can take advantage of low wage or highly skilled labors if they locate near a location which has got a good pool of labor. In the same manner, the need to locate near the source of raw material further will give advantage in terms of uh, shipping cost and low storage and also would save some time. All right. So this can prove to be advantageous if decision is taken strategically and all together, all of these will somehow help the company overall in saving time, in saving resources, in saving the, uh, the cost and so on. Now coming to the reasons for location changes or why do we need a suitable location? Apart from when the company starts a new plant, there are various other reasons for which the company needs a suitable or a new location. The first of all of these is need for greater capacity. Now to meet greater capacity or to expand their capacity, the company either shifts to a new location where a larger space is available from the current one or they expand by opening a new branch of this existing plant in a new location. Okay, so the first and foremost is to expand the capacity. Apart from that, the second is the changes in resources. Changes in resources may occur. The cost or availability of labor, uh, raw materials and supporting resources such as uh, say the subcontractors, all of these may change. Okay, so a change in all of these, whether it be the change in the availability of labor or raw material or any other supporting resources may lead the company to decide about shifting to a new location. Okay. In the same manner, the change in the demand, the geography of the demand may shift as product market changes. It may be desirable to change facility location to provide better services to new customers. The companies always tend to expand and make their product available in various locations to new customers. Now that may prompt a company to open up new branches in different geographical locations. The other reasons could be the merger of the companies. A company may merge with another company 
and that may lead to opening up or shutting down of certain locations starting up a new plant with a new name in a new location in the same manner introduction of new products may lead to opening up new locations to manufacture these products change in the, the political and economic conditions may further lead company to open up new plants in various new locations so all of these are the reasons why a location change mm, is required and the reasons are much more than these these are some of the prominent reasons and these are something which are very commonly understood by by us that's all we have in this session in the upcoming sessions we shall take up the factors affecting facility location and the methods used to select a facility location keep watching our videos at www.edupediaworld.com thank you